Mr. Chung Syak Kian, who assumed the helm of homegrown transport giant Comfort Delgro, is not overly unsettled by right hailing firm Grab's proposed takeover of Transcap, Singapore's third largest taxi operator. Our taxi rental rates are not lower than Transcap's. If our hires had wanted to go over, they would have gone over by now, Mr. Cheng said. And it is not as if our drivers cannot use the Grab app. They can. Mr. Cheng, who took over from veteran Yang Ban Sung in January, said ComfortDelGro had no intention of bowing out of the taxi business like a number of others, which have done so since the arrival of ride-hailing firms 10 years ago. In fact, he said the group does not rule out acquiring other companies. If others want to sell at a good price, we are open to buying, he said. Mr. Cheng said the fact that ComfortDelGro was still the leading taxi firm here, with 63% of the market are eight. 782 taxis, as at Anjun, showed that it was holding its own. But it is no longer a pure taxi company. It has a small but growing private hire fleet of around 600 cars, and its Zig Ride Healing app is becoming accepted. With around 4,000 private hire drivers using the platform, Mr. Cheng revealed that the group was also working on getting other point to point transport operators to use its Zig app. We are coexisting with the disruptors, he said, referring to the ride healing firms. Going forward, we are going to coexist with them more. He pointed out that taxi drivers were far more serious in their jobs, meaning that cabbies catered to more rides per day, and that taxis were still being hired out on two shifts. This translates to higher revenue yield for the group, which introduced a fair commission system last year. Commissions range from 5 to 10 percent of total fares. Together with its private hire fleet, ComfortDelGro drivers complete 80,000 to 90,000 trips per day. We will continue to have our day in the sun, Mr. Cheng said. Despite ComfortDelGro's share price hitting an all-time low of $1.01 in early June before recovering to close at $1.27 on August 14, the new CEO is upbeat about the business in the future. We are recession-proof, he said. And we are reliable in our dividend payout. At the group's first half financial results briefing on August 14, Mr. Chang outlined a group strategy consisting of defending core businesses and venturing into new ones. We will continue to improve customer service which will help us to win new operating tenders, he said. We will find new partners in key markets to pursue rail and bus contracts overseas. Among the new businesses, ComfortDelGro is looking to fleet electrification or switching to electric vehicles EVs. About 60% of ComfortDelGro's taxis in China are already electric and its electric bus fleet in the UK of around 170 was already the largest in Europe, and which Mr. Cheng said will grow to 213 buses by year-end. Mr. Cheng said electrification translates to lower costs, as EVs require far less maintenance and electricity costs less than petrol or diesel. We also get rebates from governments. And we are able to charge higher rentals for electric taxis, he added. ComfortDelGro is looking to grow its EV charging business and has been expanding its network with French utility group NG. The group is also building up an EV as a service business, which will offer the charging, leasing and fleet management of electric commercial vehicles. Separately, Mr. Cheng added that ComfortDelGro was looking to starting its first autonomous taxi trial soon.